वेलकम टू लास्ट मिनिट स्टडी विथ योर प्रोफेसर बड़ी दिस थर्ड प्रॉब्लम इज ऑफ ऑर्थोग्राफिक प्रोजेक्शन मेथड इज बेस्ड ऑन थर्ड एंगल प्रोजेक्शन मेथड प्रीवियसली वी हैव सॉल्व टू प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन फर्स्ट एंगल प्रोजेक्शन मेथड इन थर्ड एंगल प्रोजेक्शन मेथड द पोजिशन ऑफ फ्रंट व्यू टॉप व्यू एंड साइड व्यू विल बी चेंज सो फ्रंट व्यू इज बिलो एक्स वाई लाइन टॉप व्यू इज अबो एक्स वाई लाइन एंड साइड व्यू इज ऑन लेफ्ट एंड साइड व्यू इज ड्रॉ इन रिस्पेक्टिव डिरेक्शन इफ इट इज लेफ्ट एंड साइड व्यू यू हैव टू ड्रॉ इट इन अ लेफ्ट एंड साइड एंड इफ इट इज आर एच एस व्यू देन यू हैव टू ड्रॉ इट इन आर एच एस ऑफ द फ्रंट व्यू इन दिस केस वी आर गोइंग टू यूज टॉप व्यू फ्रंट व्यू एंड लेफ्ट एंड साइड व्यू सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद द फ्रंट व्यू सो दिस इज द अवर सॉलिड बॉडी सो वेन एवर यू सॉल्व एनी प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू ऑर्थोग्राफिक यू हैव टू इमेजिन द सर्फेसिस which we are visualize from that particular direction let's say this is your direction of the observing this is your your direction which is given to you that is x form so you see this surface which is uh, highlighted this surface and this surface also though this surface cannot be visible due to uh, overlapping of this surface but it is there so you have to mention it in your front view so this things you have to mention in your front view now let's start with one of the dimension we are starting with this point you have to start with a one of the point corner point so we are going to start with this point you have to draw the dimension is given to you which is 20 mm so draw 20 mm in vertical direction like this now 5 cm 5 mm so this is the 5 mm you have to construct it 5 mm vertical again 5 mm so this surface is 5 mm this line this line is 20 uh, mm so draw 20 mm which is 2 cm this again 5 and length of this line is 45 mm so construct it 45 mm from this direction like this so we have completed this bottom lines now construct this vertical line find out the dimension what is the dimension of this line uh it, it is not directly given to you so this is a 30 up to here and this line is a 20 so total is 50 mm so 50 mm line you have to draw from this the height is 50 mm now you can see here this line this line what is the length of this line it is not 45 mm it is given over here which is 40 mm so construct it 40 mm from this line now complete uh the this vertical line you have to draw this vertical line 30 mm and complete your front view with this so this thing you can see from this direction this surface now let's talk about this surface so this is uh though it is away from the front surface but if you see from the front it is over here it's look over here so it is connected with this edge so you have to extend this at a distance of whatever the distance they are given which is 20 mm so this is a 20 mm distance like this so 20 mm here now construct this line so this line this height is not given anywhere 
so it might be the printing mistake or the dimension is not given so you can take anything but uh, you can see uh, this is a 5 mm so relatively this is a uh, 10 cm 10 mm so let's say 1 cm i would take as a height so this line now construct this line so how to construct this line the dimension is not given to you but you can see this connected to the corner of the line so connect with the corner like this so this is your front view but still one surface one surface two surface is completed now this surface is not complete so you cannot see the from the front this slot but it is there so you have to mention it in your front view so for that uh, find out the dimensions of it from this line from this line which is this is a 10 mm so mark a 10 mm line from here which is one centimeter and this is 20 so mark 20 like this okay now draw vertical dash line because this slot is throughout the surface so you have to construct a vertical line in a dash form like this no need to draw a center line because this is not a circle if it is a cylindrical surface then you have to draw a center line to mention this is a circle so this is the front view of the given object so front view is this now let's draw a top view so to draw the top view you need to understand this is your top view looks like so if you observe it from the top this surface you can see this slant surface the uh, this surface and this part you cannot see this one because it's throughout the hole the whatever the uh, the back side or the bottom side of this you can see the the supporting surface you cannot see the hole from the top so from the for, to draw the top view you need to project a lines from the front view so first of all draw projection lines from the each and every corners of the front view by using roller scale just draw parallel lines from uh, each and every corners of the front view uh, this line must be drawn very thin line don't draw dash line or a dark line because it confused the drawing and it is not a right way to uh, draw a la projection lines so draw, draw dash lines uh, so uh, draw projection line from each and every corners of your front view now to draw the top view you can see this is the top view this surface which surface you can see this one this surface this rectangle and this rectangle i'll start with the uh, back side so this surface you can see here so what is the length of this line because you can see this edge this edge is here okay so you have to take as a reference of this line so start with start from here uh, the length of this line is 30 plus 10 plus 15 which is 55 m so measure a distance of 55 mm from here and draw a line so this line represent this edge this one last edge now complete this surface which is the projection of this You can see this surface this line is over here the above portion okay now complete this rectangle by using 55 mm
like this now this slot the inner slot which is not seen from the top but it is there and you have to project this so you have to draw a dash line because it, it cannot be seen from the top but it is there so you have to draw a dash line over there which represent a slot this represent a slot of this from the top which cannot be seen from the top now complete uh, this portion is complete now we will go for this rectangle so we have already co cover one line which is overlap now we have to construct this rectangle only which is up to here which is up to here you can see this line now complete it The height is uh, 10.5, uh, sorry, 5.5. So you, uh, we have completed this portion. Now let's talk about this rectangle. So you have to find out the exact position of this rectangle, which is 10 mm from this direction so which is already uh, drawn but uh, from this the corner this line is 15 mm from this corner 15 mm from this corner so you have to draw a 15 mm from this direction it is 15 mm and from this direction it is it is 10 so I have draw this corner this corner over here so I have draw this corner here so distance is 20 mm so constructed this 20 mm now it's very easy because we we need only one reference point all the dimension is given to us so this is 20 mm this side is 10 so use 10 again draw 20 and this is a 10 now it is excessive projection line we don't need this so this is the this uh, second surface now this slant surface if this slant surface is already projected over here but you need uh, the dimension so this dimension is 20 which is measure over here so these are the dimensions like this and the height but we, uh, this surface is not shown see uh, this square rectangle is over here so if I draw this line over here which means uh, the slant edge is over here but actually uh, the slant edge is over here so we have to uh, draw a line over on this edge like this and the the rectangle this surface is 15 which is given to us which is 15 so measure this as a 15 and complete the surface so this is your side uh, for, sorry top view so this is your top view now the side view the side view this if this is the front view on this direction it is left hand side view so as a uh, as per the rule of the third angle projection method uh, left hand side view have to draw in a left side of the front view so this is the front view this is the left side of the front view this is the right side of the front view so you have to draw uh, side view over here so to construct a side view you have to project a top view in this direction and front view in this direction by using 45 degree uh, angle line so you have to measure a 45 degree over here 45 degree where i putting uh, the pointer over here and i measure 45 degree like this Now project all the top view, all the top view in this direction to this and for the front view this. 
like this we have to transfer for top view and front view over here now for the side view you can see we have seen one and this two surface three and four okay so we have to make sure that four surfaces must be over here so uh, now let's start with the, uh, this rectangle this rectangle so this rectangle can be seen over here in the all the views means uh, top view as well as uh, front view so if we transfer this so this is your corner point so this corner point is over here so i mentioned this corner point over here because you can see this is a top view from top view you can see this point and from the front you can see also this point so this is your corner point so you have to construct this vertical line this line this line and this so by using front view this line is common in the front view so construct it a front view line now at what distance you have to uh, you have to draw this so it is depends on this so you got a point at this you can see up to this up to this so the top from the top this slant edges is over here it is end at over here so this is your point now complete this rectangle like this so you can see this is your rectangle over here which is uh, the common side you have to construct it now this slant portion from the side view if you observe it from the side this slant portion is look like a rectangle so rectangle uh, this transfer it from here this direction you can see and the height is similar to the front view so this is your slant portion this is your slant portion but one more thing this edge can be seen so this edge is over here we have took one reference like this so this is your front uh, side view of two surfaces now we have completed this and this now the, let's talk about this square slot so this square slot cannot be seen from the side view as well but it is there so you have to draw it so by using a top view constructed side view over here but it is throughout so you have to draw it with the dash line it is throughout so you have to draw it throughout dash line this is your slot now this slot i'm talking about this slot so this slot can be visible over here and it is also a throughout throughout surface is there so you have to draw a throughout line over here so this is it this is a side view l h s view so front view top view and side view the trick is you have to start with the one corner one corner complete the front view you can uh, shade uh, your front view top view side view in your problem as well once you complete the front view then erase it and then again you have to mark a point of top view now uh, once you complete the front view uh, or you have to draw top view and by using front view and top view intersecting line you can construct your side view it is very easy now one more thing is remaining which is dimension if you are not given the dimension the the problem is not completed fully so just complete the dimensions whichever the dimension given in your problem you have to men mention the dimension at, at particular point like this you have to mention all the dimension but remember one thing whenever you give any dimension follow one of the problem of the dimensioning method which is align method or unidirection in this case i have used aligned method so you have to mention the dimension which you given in your problem uh, in orthographic problem so mention all the dimension nothing will be missing okay so this is your front view top view and side view in a third angle projection method Thank you. Last minute study with your professor buddy.